be gone as soon. If we don't get some food soon. You hit. Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through, and I'll show you. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as... There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you are properly attired, you... Ah, hello. Anyone can dress as a prince, but no one pulls it off quite as you do. You won't be winning many people. I feel so weak. Oh. You think Sabine's got a plan to get us out of this? I trust you are finding everything all right. Oh. That's more like it. The scruff the look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well, I told you he takes some convincing. Come on. of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A prince, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, prince. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> We don't take much stock in words round these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. <coughs> Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Boulder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Come on, boy. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under we the Bright hunt, Wall Academy. Thanks to the king. Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was until Logan Please, closed starving. it down. Just show the old librarian your guilt seal. He'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. Hmm. It makes a nice change doing something useful. This chamber beneath Brightfall sounds... I hope everything is in order.
I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would turn them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small-town pleasures. The library is closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <clears throat> oh, sweet papyrus! A real visitor! I, I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. By the oh, oh, the guild seal. I haven't seen it since the old hero king last came here. Oh, then you are the prince. Yes. Oh my! Uh, please come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how he would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it. Ah, hello, Jasper here again. This sanctuary contains an armory, within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, according to the book, that sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Ah, yes, the flip switch. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve as a aim.
Master, the weapons in question were also left for you by your father. They are in the armory. The pistol is best suited to short ranges. The much you need to know. Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess. And there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge. But it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. 
Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done, and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater, and we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion, and I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. If any part of you still doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. Blessed Index cards. You made it. This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion has a hero again. If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, sir. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is waiting for you outside the local tavern. I'm trying to get my life back together. What else are you going to do with your money? Spend it on ale? Oh, I like your look. You were successful then. Bloody marvelous. You'd be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. But I have a plan. Come with me. One of the mercenaries, a cold-blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled, these young thugs. Bloody lightweights, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. Hmm, you're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. I haven't seen this good one.
You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish. Begging's a bit undignified. Some new yeah, it may be expensive, but it's... What are you looking for? You're paying top gold for top... You've acquired a new suit. I would say it's the best mercenary uniform that money can buy, which is a bit ironic, really. That beard should be a real boon if you're seeking a job in the technology sector. Not quite repulsive, but... Well on your way. I can't take another night with you. I sell the finest items in Brightwall. 